Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at building a fish farm. So I mentioned last week that a fish farm might be really good to get some, um, some books to enchant and, and power up some of our armor and tools, etc. So that's what we're going to do basically today. So, and I'm in the, the uh, wheat farm that we built last week with our villager and i was hoping that he might actually harvest some of this wheat that's growing there he goes no he just walks right past it all right so yeah so we're in the wheat farm the wheat farm's been producing wheat so that's all good i said we're going to name our villager uh haven't done it yet but we don't have any name tags anyway i also want to name the dog i've got a name for the dog already in mind so once i get some name tags might be a little bit hard to get because I don't think any of the dungeons are switched on. So anyway, we'll see how we go with that. So yep, today I am going to build the get out of here. Build the fish farm. And I've I've reduced down the size of our cows. We've only got four left, I think. So I'll probably build that cow cooker thing. Maybe in today's episode if I've got time left over otherwise maybe in the in a future episode we do have enough food and with this thing we've got food now so these are the the things we need to build the fish farm and i've done a fish farm video before so the one that i build is server friendly even though this is being played on a local machine this one's server friendly and you know works really really well whereas some of them are a little bit flaky but this one works um, so these are all you'll need. It's actually quite easy to build. Uh, there's nothing to it. I, and I will probably build um, a roof over the top of this. I might just sort of like carry on with what we've got here just to enclose us inside. And I'll put it next to the wheat farm. So whilst we're fishing, we're generating some wheat as well. So that's the plan. And I will come back. Uh, let's have a look at the sunset over here. It's funny that the sun looks like it's there, but it's setting over there. But um, we can look at two sunsets. Yeah, so I will come back once the once the fish farm is operational. Shouldn't be long. Okay, well that's the farm done. It was super simple. Uh, I just needed, yeah, you know, it was just about five, maybe ten minutes at the most, and we're all ready. I've tested it. It's it's working okay. Just in case you're going off the uh, the ingredients that I showed you before, uh, we needed a note block and an extra hopper as well. So there are a couple of extra things, but I'll put a link in the video towards the end and, and up the top and in the description. So you can go there and have a look at my tutorial. So what I'm gonna do now is just put a roof over this. Uh, and just remember that you need um, sky access to the water. So I'll put slabs over the roof and a piece of glass above that and then we'll be able to lock ourselves in and go fishing and then what i think i'll do because it's uh, just about time to go to bed here is i will leave this running overnight and i might add a few extra chests as well currently we've only got the two so uh, if we go have a look i might go down an extra couple of levels but that's in my testing that's what we got so I'll add a few extra chests going down so that the storage will last the night. And in the morning, I will have a look and we'll see what we got. And just to prove it works, let me just go fishing here and hopefully it won't take too long. So also you've got to get the better rods. Currently I'm just using a standard rod that I made. Once you get the luck of the sea and I can't remember the name of the other one it'll come to me that increases the speed and it's just a fish yeah it increases the speed so yeah things happen a lot quicker no i can't remember the name anyway i'll remember in the morning because i'll have one because you normally get them as, as prizes when you're fishing so there i'll be spending the night fishing and we'll be back Hey guys, well, it is the next day and I tried to do some fishing overnight, but in the end, I probably only got about maybe three hours worth of fishing. And as you can hear outside, it's a little bit dangerous out there because 
the baby zombies. Which I think might be on the roof. Yes, they're on the roof. Okay, they can get on the roof. Um, I've been chasing this guy around. Like, it's not probably the best work environment you could work in. You know, something trying to kill you is chasing you around 24 by 7. So we'll go out there and sort him out. But uh, in the meantime, I will go down here and just see what we got in our chests. So uh, one thing I thought, we can get name tags here. So before I thought we wouldn't be able to get name tags. So we'll be able to name our villager and our dog. So that's cool. We'll probably be doing that this episode. And just looking at the books. Uh, efficiency. We're really looking for the mending books. So efficiency 4 is okay. Protection 4. Power 4. Sharpness. It's a bit meh. Knockback. Uh, Let's see what's in there. We've got another book. Fortune 2 is good. But I think if we die, we lose whatever with that curse of vanishing. So that might be a possibility. Uh, efficiency, power, protection. Yeah, more tags. So, look, not too bad, but we weren't sort of like AFK efficient for a while. But uh, also, we got 43 levels. So, I'll go up there and I'll probably enchant all my armor and everything. So, that is the fish farm done. Now, I might go out and take care of this baby. Get away from there, it's noisy. So, what what am I going to do now? I think what we might do next is just quickly do a, a cow cooker. So, I will go away, collect the, the items we need, and I'll pop back. And just, I'll pop back. I've made a start on the cow cooking farm. This is it, mostly built over there. Uh, the one thing I noticed with this farm is you have to put in all your cows to start off with. So I had murdered most of mine, I only had four left, but I've bred them up, so I've got quite a few now. So they'll be going in there. And this farm is basically pretty simple. These things haven't changed for a long time. This one does have an observer in it. So these are the blocks that we need. So what do we got? Some lava, water, and observer. They're not droppers, they're dispensers in the real thing. I've built the wrong ones there some redstone some buttons some glass uh, a couple of repeaters and ladders iron bars so I've put the structure together here so you can have a bit of a, a look at this to see what it's made like it's not too hard you know if you just pause the video if you're gonna make it at home these are your dis your, what are they? The opposite of this. Dispensers. Okay, these are dispensers. Dispensers, dispensers, dispensers. Not droppers. They are dispensers. And under here we've got uh, a hopper going into a chest with some stairs and stuff. So we can still open it through the stairs. So the only thing we've got to do now is put some redstone in it. So we put a couple of buttons here. It's going to operate the lava and the water. And then up here, we put some redstone and a repeater. And we're also going to put a button here just to manually uh, set the water off. Down below, we're putting a not a torch. We're putting a piece of redstone and a repeater into some redstone going into observer that's facing in this direction so when you look at it his little face is facing towards the redstone and around here one more piece of redstone and that's it we're set we're all done so i think if we test it if we push this one it should put some water into it which it does switch the water off and if i push this one we get a little bit of lava. Let me just check that that water's still there. Yep, so on and off and a little bit of lava. So that's it, it's fairly simple. Now the fun begins. We're gonna try and get these cows into it. So apparently the best thing to do is to build a little staircase up. 
This is going to go horribly wrong, I can just tell. Staircase up, have some wheat in your hand, which I don't. Uh, that's something else we could have looked at but didn't. Uh, how much wheat we had in our farm, if I can remember where the, the entrance is. So it was running for a little bit. This one was running actually overnight. So we got quite a bit of, of wheat there. So let me grab some wheat because we need it to encourage the cows to come with us. Let's get out of here. I've planted a few trees. I think I have planted myself in. Oh God, too many trees. <laughs> I think some of these trees are gonna have to go. All right. Let's release the cows and try and get them. Oh, they're even climbing the ladder, they're so keen. Come on guys, up here, I need you in here. So I think if you got enough of them, uh, this is how I did it differently before. I put a barricade up here. Uh, I'm gonna come back and try and get some order in these cows. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, what I've done, I've just taken that button out and just put three blocks here. So when they come up here, they're, they're going to fall in. So let's switch over to the wheat. Hey guys, look what I got. So I'm hoping that they'll just push each other in. Come on, push him in. All right. Yeah, go on. You're going to push in. Push him in. Yep, yep. This is our... Go on, a bit further. Yes, our first one. Come on, I need a few more in. So I I think once they stop pushing each other, if you sort of jump around and try and push them in, don't fall in yourself because that would be nasty. You're in. Yep, there you go. Come on, you're going straight in. Oh, well, ooh, well done. Come on, you're in. Just go. You too. Come on. Someone push him in. Okay, not him. So, I. Who said you could get up here? All right, I'm going to battle these cows and get a few more in. And I think what happens when you when you're breeding the cows, occasionally some of them don't fall through. Some of the babies don't fall through, so you will probably increase your cow population up here. So it's not a huge thing if you don't get a lot in. I think they will increase in numbers. So I'll have a bit of a play off camera, try and get a few more of these in here. And the ones that don't want to cooperate, well, I'll just hit them with an X. I'll be back. I've got a couple more cows in there. The rest I just went around and if I found them, I, I chopped them up. So we should be right to go. So the idea of this one is you activate the water, you get your wheat in your hand and you're able to come up here and get them through this little window here. So the water makes them bounce around and it's all good. But if that doesn't work, because you can't really reach all the way down the back there. So the other way to do it is to climb up the stairs and do it from up top. Uh, yes, I've still got my barrier up here. And I'm missing that button that was there. Let me put that back. So up here, you, you've probably got a better chance of getting them all whilst they're bobbling around. So they have little babies. The babies fall through the gap. And let's switch their water off. So they should settle down. So the babies fall through the gap. They sit down here. And you wait until they grow up. And when they grow up, you... You hit them with the lava from the button down here. They cook and die and end up in the chest down the bottom here. So that will keep us in some cooked meat for a while. So we'll get the wheat from the wheat farm and we'll breed the cows and make some steak over here. So that is our steak farm done. That block up there. Oh, we've got our little temporary blocks here as well. Let me just get rid of them. Uh, also, if you've got um, some leads, getting getting the cows in with leads will be easier. I don't think I've got a, well, not close by, uh, a biome where I'll get some slime. I'll probably have to dig down and, and hope that I'm in a slime chunk and, and that slimes will appear. I haven't seen any 
swamps anywhere because that's the other place swimes will appear so yeah if you've got leads that's the easy way of getting them through as well okay so i think the next thing we'll do is just quickly go through and enchant our armor so i've taken the armor off let's see what we can get so we'll try our hat first let's load that up fire protection okay i think all of these are going to be fire protection uh, protection four i think is reasonably good oh, and we got thorns and i'm breaking that was pretty good okay let's try the hat again let's see giving us Fire protection again. Okay, maybe that's just fire protection on the hat. But fire protection is not a bad thing. Let's see what the pants are doing. Hmm. What about our boots? Feather falling is not too bad. I might put feather falling and we got projectile. That's been quite generous actually. Well, is this one still the same? Unbreaking. I'm just going to try the unbreaking and we got fire protection that's not too bad and we're just going to go for the best one here unbreaking that wasn't that wasn't terrible so let me just chuck that in our lapis thing and put our armor back on so what did we end up getting projectile projection and feather falling some prot three unbreaking Prop four, thorns, unbreaking. I always like thorns. You know, when things come and attack you, you attack them back. Unbreaking and fire protection. So if we go and play in the nether and we're getting attacked by, by the lasers, the, the fire protection always comes in handy. I thought we'd just come and have a bit of a look at our little instruction book here and see where we're at with our goals. So let's go through. We need to still build a lighthouse. We haven't done that yet, but I don't think we've really got enough resources to make it look pretty. Uh, build a metro system above ground. We haven't done that. Get a full diamond suit. We've got him and we've even enchanted it now. Build an automated wheat farm. We've done that. Find a nether and end portal. We peeked into the volcano and saw them there. Build an underwater home. We haven't done that. Build any functional animal farm. So I think... The, uh, the beef, the cow farm, is an animal farm. I'll think about that, but I think we've got that. Make towns with paths and metro connections. Okay, we haven't, we haven't made any towns, so we'll look into that. Make a fireworks show on top of the volcano. Defeat the three bosses and complete the map. So, what are we going to do next? Um, I think... I think what I might do is try and get some Wither Skulls and beat the Wither Boss. So that will be our next episode. So come back next week and watch me die. I'm definitely going to die. So <laughs> come back and watch me die. Have a good one. Keep safe. I'll see you next week. And uh, don't forget to press the like button. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Thank you. Bye.